Honda Fireblade 929 2001. And they're quite weird to start with this one because it's so unusual and it's got so much stuff on it. But uh, let's give it a go. Right. Tyre's easy to point out. That's uh, your standard uh, Metzler Spool Tech on the front here. And that's, God say, that's got about three and a half mil in it. So plenty of life left in that. That's easy peasy. Front guard is all good in the blue. Right. It's got wavy discs, obviously, on both sides. And as you'll see later in a bit on the back as well. So you've got your wavy discs there. Um, all over it, we've replaced all the uh, fixing with these um, kind of anodized red fixes instead. It's got um, steel braided hoses front and back on it. Um, fork seals are all good. It's just gone for its MOT anyway, so that'll be okay. Fork seals are all good. Uh, this is weird. Uh, these headlamps, they are legal. Um, but they're, they're certainly unusual. Uh, as are the mirrors. Apparently, they did cost 70 quid. Uh, whether or not I'd pay that is another matter, but there we are. There's the, the mirrors that's on it, and the indicators are actually mounted into these weird looking mirrors uh, they do work they do flash um, so people can see you uh, indicate what you want to do it's got this uh, red tinted double bubble screen it's got uh, carbon look-alike levers on both sides there uh, it's got a uh, He's replaced the master cylinder cap with uh, CBR900RR, again anodized in the red there. Um, carbon trim on the top yoke. It's got an Olin's steering damper on it here, which works nicely, that's a nice touch. Um, tank's all good, there's no dents in it or whatever. It's got this uh, carbon um, filler cap. Uh, accessory on the top of it to go with the carbon it's got elsewhere crash bungs uh, left and right more of these anodized red fixings all over it uh, he's replaced the foot peg and rear brake lever with these they're not rear sets but they're set back a bit further uh, he's replaced those with aftermarket jobbies oh, god you see the name there barracks or something like that um, even the foot guard here he's got on it it's it's a, a laser cut uh, steel guard with blade written into it it's got a full Acropovic uh, titanium exhaust not just the can it's the whole system is titanium obviously weighs about two ounces here's the uh, the rear brake line again in the uh, uh, braided steel uh, there's your rear wavy disc hose underneath here we've got uh, an Olin's rear shock as well uh, and this is there's your adjuster for it so your different settings again um, another red anodized uh, rear brake reservoir cap there coming on back he's got some more um, anodized red pegs it's same uh, left and right it's got on there um, the rear indicators are here uh, he's had them fitted into the uh, pillion footrest again they do work they do flash they are legal so uh, all these little touches all over it uh, the rear brake light um, it has got this motif on it Honda uh, but they're red LEDs inside of there and the, um, the rear light is as well and then back on to the tyre which is uh, a Michelin um, Pilot and uh, I don't know it's probably got about about three or four million that there it's got the tail tidy as well the tail under tidy coming up on here to the uh, seat both the uh, pillion and the driver's seats they're all in one piece and he's had this design done on it uh, 
there's just so much on it, I don't know if I've missed anything, but um, let's go around to the left hand side and see what we got there. Oh, before I do that, I'll fire it up so you can have a listen. Running on choke, that's a bit high. But you can hear no unsightly noises coming from that engine. No tick, crack, bang, or whatever. Really nice and tight. And back off the exhaust. It's a nice note. It's not too loud. Certainly people will hear you if you give it a blip. You won't have to use your hoover. Right, now let's have a look at the left hand side. Okay, so here we are on the left, it's pretty much going to be a mirror image of what you saw on the right. And I might remember a few other bits that it's got on it. There's your tyre, front guard is all good, we've had a look at the fork seals. Seen the wavy discs, there's these weirdo mirrors. Not my cup of tea, but hey, somebody loved it uh, with these um, indicators fitted in. There's your carbon lever there. We've been over that, the uh, Olin's steering damper. Ah, there's your left hand crash bung. Uh, I mean, there's your alternate cover, that's all in one piece. Uh, left hand um, gear change system, I mean, he's changed that from stock. Because um, it, it did, it was this name AWOL. Um, it was. It used to belong to these people, awolstunts.com, so they've obviously tricked it up an awful lot for their shows. Um, it's got this uh, the chain guard on it. Uh, again, it's been uh, laser cut, CBR929RR. Oh, there's your left hand rear pillion peg. Um, tank all good, no damage same here so they obviously knew what they were doing they didn't drop it when they were doing their stunts the left hand uh, seat panel so I say pretty much a uh, mirror image of the right hand side oh just coming down here chain and sprockets again even they've got the anodized red nuts on the sprocket carrier there chains all good plenty of life left in that and the sprocket if I can get in there can't really see it with a camera but there's no hooking on that so there we are a very unusual piece I would say the parts on it probably worth as much if not more than the uh, standard bike Crispin. ignition on <sighs> choke of course because it's fuel injection look over the right shoulder in gear and away on as ever hopes that gives you more of an idea